Welcome back to Philadelphia. This was Claude Giroux this morning taking shot after shot. He hasn't scored since last April. We talked about the Devils trouble scoring while well, Philadelphia has had the same type of trouble. Not just Claude Giroux, their whole lineup. Simmons and Hartnell and all these guys have gotten into an early season slump. But Drew, I feel, is working on the one-timer, kind of like a baseball hitter that his timing's just a little bit off. How many times when he's successful throughout his career have we seen him score from the left circle? It's almost automatic with his blast, and it just seems his timing is a little off. So that's, what do you do? You continue to take a lot of shots, a lot of repetitions, till you find that groove. Also, I haven't seen those flashes through the middle of the ice where when he gets that puck and just in the defensive zone, goes right through the neutral zone, backs defenseman off. This guy's too good a hockey player. The Devils better watch him tonight. He's reunited on a line with Scott Hartnell and Jake Voracek. They've had some chemistry before. Scott Hartnell doesn't even have an assist this year. It's unbelievable. One goal in ten games that he has played. So, again, I talk about collectively Simmons, Hartnell, Giroux. These are guys you're going to have to watch. They're reunited. Uh, this line wants to get themselves on track. Watch. We'll get a combination of like ten goals tonight, Steve. <laughs> Seven six hockey game, Deb. <laughs> okay, let's see if you're the prophet, Mr. Danico. Well, his next goal will be his hundredth. Tonight would be an opportune time to get it for a team that hasn't scored in nine days. A fluke injury for Travis at practice last week. He rolled an ankle, hitting a rut in the ice. Didn't think much of it until the next morning. In all situations, he was missed over the weekend. Good to see him back. Yeah, he's got a couple different wingers. Bernier moving up from the fourth line to the right wing, and Bruner stepping over to the left side. So it's going to be interesting, Steve. I, I don't know what the over and under is. I'm just curious which team's going to score first. It's going to be huge, I think, the first goal tonight. And the Flyers are not standing pat either. Their coach, Craig Berube, mixing things up. Claude Giroux with Scott Hartnell and Jake Voracek. He's splitting up Giroux and Vincent LeCavalier, who we'll likely see in just a moment. And this is Voracek, the Czech right wing. Motoring into the Devils' end, and that's batted down out of midair by Andy Green. Sends the Devils on their way. This is Zajac dishing across. He's got Peter Harrell. Saved by Ray Amory. Rebound is batted away wide. Bernier got a stick on it, Steve. He just shanked it wide. There, half of the net was open. I mean, it was in the air. I know it's difficult, but my goodness, that would have been a big start. Not sure that Emery faced such a dangerous scoring opportunity in three periods on Saturday night. Taken here by the Flyers. Michael Raffle with a drive, and that's way wide of Brodeur's cage. Braden Coburn at the point can't hold the zone, and it's poked back into the Flyers' end. He's paired with the 38-year-old Finn, Kimo Timonen. Sent into the double zone. Brodeur alertly got that away from Wayne Simmons. Played out towards the Flyers, and the foot race is on. Back to give chase to Sean Couturier, who gets it away from Dinah Zubris. Opening moments here, a game each one of these teams desperately wants, sitting 7th and 8th in the Metropolitan Division. Dumped into the Flyers' zone by Anton Volchenkov, and collected here by Andre Mazaros. Gives to Hal Gill, given away here, taken by Tenby, and a shot that went wide. Well, just like Minnesota, Devils starting well, Steve. It hasn't been their first five minutes of game that's hurt them. It's been a dip after that. And Minnesota was not capitalizing or getting much momentum off a of power play. Eric Jelena, the big shot, he scores! It deflected past Emery, and the Devils take the early lead less than two minutes in. Wow, that's what the Devils were looking for. You know, against Minnesota, they got some point shots. I remember clearly that their construction was good. They were getting it to the point. Nothing went in for them, but this one does. Let's see and track this puck. But Jelen has got that shot, pulled it off the boards, and he rips it, and it hits somebody in front. Is it Mazaros' stick, or is it Henrique? I'm not sure. Let's look up top here. There it's coming, but I couldn't really tell. We'll have to wait for the announcement. If it's Jelena, that would be his second National Hockey League goal. If it's Henry, good omen. He's scored in every Devils win so far this year. Mm. Taken here by Zedlitsky and sent back in. The Flyers on their heels early on. They led until the final minute of their last game against Carolina Tuesday night. Let the lead slip away with 53 seconds to go and then lost in overtime to the Hurricanes. 
Dumped in by Steven Gianta. We're giving it to Joe and us, Steve, right now. It could have it could have hit uh, Mazzaros' stick too, but it looks like it changed direction to me. To me. Pass in the neutral zone, intercepted by the Devils and sent back in by Travis Zajac. Peter Harold back in the lineup. The goal by Jelena, assisted by Adam Henrique and Michael Ryder at the 157 mark. Voracek into the zone. Claude Giroux tries to send it to a Prodor's cage. Taken away by the Devils, he's sent out the center. Back at his own end is Kimo Timonen. Veteran of 1,030 National Hockey League games. Fires in, that's blocked away by Brodeur. Loose puck picked up by Yaramir Yager. Remains the double scoring leader coming into tonight. His 10 points tops on the team as Harold plays it across. His pass to center picks up Yager and drops this for Andre Lafiano. In the corner, Yager able to collect. Now knocked away from the veteran winner for New Jersey and Wayne Simmons starts back the other way for the Flyers tries to get around the big 6-4 frame of Jelena picked up here by Couturier and Jelena got in the way of that as well puck winds around towards the point taken here by Hal Gill sent in deep two Flyers battle in the corner three Devils there to contend penalty is coming up it's a hold and it's against New Jersey well, that's not what the Devils wanted here early after scoring a goal. They wanted to build on that momentum. Adam Larson not liking it. New Jersey penalty. It uh, was five. a bit Two of a minor holding. hold, I guess. I don't know if there is such a thing, Steve. There's not me. Well, there are major and minor penalties, but let's have a look. Five. It's, the stick is, gets a, caught around the flyer, and then it's stuck on the board. So he can't pull it out. And you know what? I can't argue with that one. Now, that's a pretty good call. You said minor, it's like driving 52 in a 50 mile an hour zone, maybe. <laughs> well, hey. nearly got away with it, but not quite. So the Devils penalty kill goes to work as Le Cavalier sends this back towards the point and punched back here. Matt Reed sends it across and a drive that goes wide of Brodor's cage. On the forecheck is Couturier. Battling deep in the Devils end with Andy Green. Flyers able to control and played back towards the point. Here's Reed. Cross eyes pass, sent across. Le Cavalier plays this down low. Centering try, knocked away by the Devils. And Reed pinching in. Flyers wind it around to the stick of Le Cavalier. Work back to the point. Reed with a shot, blocked away in front. That's the calling card of Anton Volchenkov back in the lineup tonight. And pushed out to center by Travis Ajak. Minute five remaining in the penalty. Here's Mark Streit, the one-time Islander captain, who'll start things up for the Flyers. Philadelphia in desperate need of goal scoring, needing this power play unit to start to come alive. Sent out to center and taken by Giroux. Here's Voracek, who gets the motor going into the center ice area. Now avoids the check. Puck taken away by New Jersey. And clear the length of the ice. Devils have been aggressive since the puck was dropped, Steve. Oh, which is good, but, you know, we talked about all season long, they've got to play 60 minutes. There can be no letdown, especially the situation they're in now. Flyers bring it in. This is Giroux. Sends it behind Brodor's cave. Hartnell able to pick up the loose puck. Now controls as the Flyers set up. A dozen seconds to go in the Flyers' power play. Here's Giroux. Plays it. Simmons with the pass. And it comes out to center and taken here by Timonen. How about Eric Jelena? Boy, he uses his stick defensively as well as when he fires that puck. He's getting power play time. He scored the goal as of right now. Now he's been killing penalties. So his confidence in his overall game is just growing and by leaps and bounds as he gets more and more ice time. Penalty time is up. Teams back to five on five. Sent into the devil's zone. Zach Ronaldo couldn't get there in time. Flyers hold the zone. Slowed up here as Marek Zablitsky and now tries to punch it out the center. Nicholas Grossman able to play this back. Early goal by Eric Jelenov, giving the Devils the lead. Nice reverse there by Zablitsky. Volchenkov trying to recover. This puck jarred loose, and Zedlitsky again gets it out of harm's way. And taken out to center. 
Quickly played ahead. Michael Raffle, the Austrian winger, lays this off. Shot by Zach Ronaldo is blocked away by Brodor. And the puck deflects out of play. And we'll step aside for the first time. A little more than seven minutes in. Devils with the Shelena goal have the lead. Eric Shelena has a near perfect release on his shot, like a golfer whose swing is classic. That's what Jelena has, but this is what I like, Steve. He's able to keep it low. He sees a couple guys in front of him. Watch the stick here of 14. Doesn't it look to you like it's hitting Adam Henrique's stick? This thing goes airborne then, and that's why Emery can't track it. And here you get another look. I think they're going to change that to Henrique. You think of the last game at home when the Devils lost by a goal. It was Braden Shen with an outstanding deflection. And here to get the Devils started, another one by, I believe, Adam Henrique. But we'll wait. If it wasn't his stick, then it was Mazzaro's. But it certainly hit something. I concur. I know they don't always see what we see. If it is Adam Henrique, it's his fifth goal of the season. Devils, nevertheless, have the lead. And here comes Steve Bernier over the line. His shot, the save made by Emery. Bernier battling deep in the flyer zone. Loose behind the Philadelphia cage. Picked up here by Damian Bruna. Reverses course. Bernier sends it back towards the point. Green shovels it back in deep on a backhand. Bernier keeps this alive. Bruner gets it away from Vincent LeCavalier. Turnaround try by Bernier. Comes here to the stick of Matt Reed. Flyers dump in. They'll get a full change and back to get Chase here. Is Harold for the Devils. Paired with Andy Green in his return to the lineup here tonight. Back in the Flyers' end, icing is waved off here as Timonen drops it behind the net. Braden Coburn had to reach out and try to control. Flyers able to skate this away. Giroux hounded by the back checking Yaramir Yaga. One of the officials went crashing into the boards. That's one of the referees. And it comes out here to center. No stoppage in play. Dinah Zubris takes here for New Jersey. Drops this for Zidlitsky. His shot. Saved made by Emery. Oh, the rebound came loose. And Lakdianov missed on a follow. Lakdianov one more time. Takes a check from Claude Giroux. Good response by the Devils. The referee who was knocked down is Steve Kazari, number 40. Who's back to his skates now. Giroux. Winds it around the boards. Taken here by Michael Ryder. Valchenko with a big hit on Zach Ronaldo, who went flying. Ronaldo, the aggressor, he got the worst of it. Well, they were once teammates. As a matter of fact, Giroux had 50 of his best games playing with number 68 when he played with the Flyers. Look at that back check. No penalty. Now there, Giroux with a little dive, but the referee falls, so he didn't see it right up the ice. This is why I like the counter attack tonight by the Devils have been outstanding. Locked on a, the second time the puck has been in the air, and he's batted at it, and he just drilled that over the top of the cage. The Devils look very sharp, Steve, on their transition game to start this tilt. And punched out to center here. Hal Gill will go back to give chase for the Flyers. Lays this across from Mazzaros, picked up here by Wayne Simmons. Jelena tangled up with Couturier as it goes back into the New Jersey double zone. Two young defensemen paired again. That's been mostly the case in recent games. Jelena and Adam Larson now in his third year at the age of 20. Gill, the six foot seven defenseman, tried to play it ahead. Bouncing puck picked up here by Matthias Tenby and dumped in deep. He's on with Henrique and Ryder at the start of tonight's game. Adam Henrique works it free, and the Flyers come away with it. This is Simmons. Has Raffle with him. Long shot on Brodeur. That's handled easily by the veteran goaltender. Giving chase here. Chris Newberry, number 45, just called up from the minors on the forecheck. Levels work it out to center, though, and fired back in by Ronaldo. Hammered that by Jelenov. Shot from the far side, saved by Brodeur, and skated away by Cam Jansen, who's on for the Devils. Icing against New Jersey. Our key players brought to you by Pure Hockey. As we're, uh, we'll come back to that, a little skirmish. And now when the Flyers get in a skirmish, we're not sure it's not going to erupt into something that, that the league will have to look at. But Our key players is brought to you by Pure Hockey. No one has more hockey sticks at the lowest prices guaranteed and 
Travis Ajak back in the lineup. He's getting the job done and is getting better on the faceoffs. He's got to up, upgrade that uh, up offensive production. And I, what can you say about Claude Giroux? 29 shots, Steve, coming into the night in 14 games. No goals. How does that happen? He's a terrific centerman. Plays the power play. Mm. I mean, I know he probably can't figure it out either. That's why he hates to get asked about it. I know he was testy Pacific. yesterday when the writers were asking him about no assist for Hartnell. You don't have any goals. And he didn't really want to get into it and finally said, hey, when you find something positive, come and tell me. Well, quite honestly, Claude, I like you, but with those kinds of stats, what do you expect the press to ask? And the fans, too, they're saying, how can you two guys playing that much power play time not have a goal or an assist in Hartnell's case? So, tough times, testy times here in Philadelphia. We'll see if this is his moment. Fly a power play here as Ryan Carter was called for tripping, and Giroux is on with the usual cast of characters. Played back to the point, saved by Brodeur. Shovels it aside, Adam Henrique. Fanned on the clearing attempt. Andy Green can't get it out of the zone either. Taken here by Simmons. Poked away to the stick of Andy Green, who skated away. Well, two great plays with the stick by Marty Brodeur. One, Steve, he makes the save and calmly dishes it off to the corner. There he, he poked the puck on a dangerous rush that was coming at him from behind the goal line. Hartnell's pass is intercepted and sent the length of the ice. Travis Sajak skating well. Obviously, his ankle is fine, and the adrenaline he should have from sitting out a couple games, especially missing the one in Minnesota, should have him all revved up tonight. Green sends it out of the zone once again. Collecting this is Matt Reed. Flyers have wasted the first minute of the power play, and now Mark Strike starts up for Philadelphia. Change in personnel for the Flyers. Shen, LeCavalier, and Couturier on to continue the power play. Comes instead to Lakiana. Rodor will play the puck and easily sends it the length of the ice. Well, the Devils want to turn this crowd against the Flyers, Steve. And I don't think it's going to take much. Because already they're rumbling now with the lack of activity on this power play by the Flyers. There will come a point where it will take wins and not necessarily punches to satisfy the mm -hmm. faithful here. That mm -hmm. just was a very temporary moment the other night. Zubris given some skating space. Flyers take it away, and here's Shen back the other way. Braden Shen across pass. Intercepted. Neat play by Jelena. Great read by Eric Jelena. He didn't sag back too quickly. That was a veteran move, Steve. He was looking for that late man coming. He read it and broke up the play beautifully. Raffle to center, able to play this across. Flyers gain the zone. Another breakup by Oak. Didn't clear it, though. Braden Coburn able to keep it in the zone. Now Giroux, his shot saved by Brodor. And that time, Claude Giroux robbed by Marty. Back the other way comes Damian Bruner. Puts the brakes on. Poked away by Braden Coburn and taken here. Along the near boards, battling for it is Bernier. Balchenkov pinching in, battling with Coburn, kicks at the puck and sends Zach Ronaldo on his way. He's got Raffle with him on a two-on-one. He shoots and fires wide. Back in his own end is Hal Gill. Giroux getting chased in the Devils and loose puck taken here by Ryder. Great pass, sends Tedenby in. He shoots at a save made by Remry. Matthias Tedenby trying to double the lead, stonewalled by Emery. Eric Jelena reading the play here. This is what I'm talking about. Three on two. He can sag back, but he sees that late guy. What does he do? He steps up, clears the puck away. The Devils go. Now, he makes a mistake here, but this is where your goaltender, like Marty Bredor, can really help a young player. Now, Jelena gives the puck away. He should have got that out. If this puck goes in the net, everybody's going to be focused on the mistake he made. Instead, Marty, with a great uh, shoulder save, they'll forget about it. And right after that, Matthias Tenenby, trying to get his first of the year, is robbed by Emery. But Steve, some really good things happening so far for New Jersey. With 6.39 to go, they just don't want to let off at all. They just want to keep applying the pressure. They've been just strong in all areas. Took 12 and a half minutes for the Flyers' first scoring chance of the game, and that was the shot by Giroux that was saved by Brodeur. The Devils have four to this point in the hockey game. Lead by one. 
Rodor guides it safely over the goal line. It's icing downstairs to Depp Placey. Depp. Okay, coming up at the GMC Intermission Report, we'll have an interview right outside the Devils dressing room. Plus, Ken Danico is here. So we'll talk to Dano about the first period. So it's all coming up on the GMC Intermission Report. Stay with us for that. Depp, thank you. Six and a half to go in the opening period. One nothing, no scoring change on that goal yet. It's still standing as Eric Jelenas. Yeah, that's why Deb's got to go for Adam Henrique, right? If she can, <laughs> then we'd get to the bottom of that story. If he tells the truth, Mr. Rush. Oh, he would. They're very humble that way. They are, but they also like it to be right up front. If you earn it, you want it. If you don't, nope. Tedenby moves in. Around strike. Tries to get a shot away. Matias Tedenby holds centering try for Henrique, who jammed at it in front and taken away by the Flyers. Two scoring opportunities for Matthias Tedenby in this first period. Icing against the Devils with 5.44 to go. Okay, Pete DeBoer and Lou Lamarillo said for players who are getting an opportunity to play because of injuries, they haven't stepped up and they've got to start. Well, obviously, Tedenby's getting the match with nice inside-out move, his second good opportunity. But the puck has just poked away from him before he could get to it. The other thing I like is Adam Henrique Sentiman really got the wheels going tonight as well. So that's part of the reason why Tenby's had two good scoring chances. Bouncing puck in the corner. Boracek battling with Anton Valchenkov. Flyers able to control and glove down right to the stick of Yaromir Yager, who plays it across and gives here to Lakdiano. Takes it in deep, Lakianov sends it behind the cage. Giroux quickly on the loose puck and sends it ahead for the Flyers. Zidlitsky fires right back in. Punch back to the stick of Scott Hartnell. He gives it away deep in the zone. Devils play it back to Andy Green. Gives to Zidlitsky. Marek opts to dump it off the backboards. Loose at the side of the net. Controlled here by Yager. Centering tries. Zidlitsky gets a shot away. Saved made by Emery. What a pass by Elmer Yager there, Steve. Had somebody just draped on him, and he still made the play. Puck came out of the zone. Offside call. Gives us the whistle with under five to go in the period. It's time now for the Cadillac trivia question. The Devils traded two of their 1995 Stanley Cup winning players to acquire Jason Arnott in the news this week. He announced his retirement. That was in 1998. Who were those players? It wasn't Marty. He's been here for all the Cubs. Yeah, Marty tapping a stick for the uh, the men in the armed forces that are here tonight being honored. It wasn't Scotty Stevens. So we just do the process of elimination. But boy, I tell you, Steve, we'll get to it later. How about the A-line, though? Was there ever a better more exciting line than the A-line for New Jersey? I don't think so. No, not all the times that I've seen them play, and which has been their whole their whole career. Ken Danico reflecting on that. Hope you were with us for Visa Devils game night tonight. Great memories. Congratulations to Jason, whose career is done after 18 superb seasons in the NHL. Icing call against the Devils here. Well, here's big Jason on a six foot four and Patrick and Sicky Peter Sikora combined for one of the prettiest ones. And I liked, what I liked the best is after they scored, Jason was so big, he'd just stand there and then Patrick, and here's a big one against Dallas, uh, wins the cup. But he would just stand there and Sikora and Elias would just jump all over him and it was just such a wonderful sight. You know, Jason had a great sense of humor. He was fun to be around and of course he turned into be an outstanding player for New Jersey and I, I hated to see when that line finally got broken up. But all things come to an end, even the good ones, I guess. Jason had a second try with the team. Taken away, Couturier with a shot, and it went wide. Brodeur, mm -hmm. slow to his feet. Now Grossman plays it back, and a drive from the point that was blocked by somebody. It might have gotten to Marty. It did. Whistler off the stick of Mark Streit and taken here by the Flyers. Well, Marty and the referee are having quite a dialogue. It's going to be Simmons. I don't know if it was a deliberate crease crash or he was pushed in or couldn't stop, but we'll look at it. Puck winds around off the stick of Peter Harold. Cam Jansen battling here with Hal Gill. Good job by Cam to make sure he got that puck out of the zone. 
Back to get chased is Anton Volchenkov. He absorbs the hit. Zidlitsky is hit as well. Flyers take it up a notch physically. Devils try to get it out of the zone. Zach Ronaldo, Adam Hall, and Chris Newberry, the fourth liners, are on here for Philadelphia. And the Devils' fourth liners answer here nicely. Gianta tied up by Mazzaro. Steven Gianta still going. Into the corner for Jansen. Physical battles all over. Jansen, Carter, and Gianta. Have it in deep for New Jersey. Look back towards the point, but taken away by Braden Shen. Here's Shen. Neat pass for Mazaros and poked away. That was Ryan Carter on the back check. Well, he had a back check, Steve, because he knows that he made a bad play along the boards. He tried to get it to the point, turned it over. It was a three against two, but give Ryan credit because it was all out, all the way back, and he finally got there to break up the play. Firing in his team and in. Brodeur sticks that away and lifted out by Eric Jelenov. Late first period, Devils have enjoyed the lead since the 157 mark. Pass to flex off the stick of Braden Shen and out of play. Well, you know, when you can't score a goal, sometimes you think, let's take the goalie out. Now look at Simmons. Okay, not his fault. Little bump from behind by Harold. Marty chops away at him, like what the referee did there. He yelled at the boys to settle down. Well, look at the screenshot. Brodeur finds it, makes the save, and then Andy Green's able to push it to a teammate and clear the zone. Talk to the, I talked about the top of the show. As Marty's been playing Steve, it's just not that he's making saves. He's starting to get strong again. You know, everything he's doing is with some authority and conviction, and he's, there's no hesitation or no guessing. He's playing the puck better. We've known him for two decades. Traditionally, does he get better as the season goes on? He does. I mean, for me, and I don't know if you can work it out, Marty's got I think, play at least twice a week. And I say that because sometimes the Devils play three and four games, but I think that would be the minimum once he really gets his game in gear. And hopefully Corey Snyder coming back and playing tomorrow night will, will be able to complement that. I mean, that's what we're looking for here. We're not looking for one or the other to steal the number one position as the writers want to talk about every single time they talk to the player. Just, just let them both be number ones. And the guy who's playing, he's a number one that night. And, Put on a show and play your best, and then we're, the Devils are in their best shape possible. We're expecting to see Corey against the Maple Leafs tomorrow night. Another set of back-to-backs for New Jersey. And those have been tough stretches of schedule for the Devils so far. Lakdiana for Yager. Tries to get around Coburn, but poked away. Dinah Zubris got the puck away from Claude Giroux. Reverses course. Taken here by Zidlitsky, who pinches in. There's a penalty, though, coming up, and it's a slash. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's Claude Giroux. Well, this isn't what you want from your captain. Now, I haven't seen it, Steve. I don't know how, how important or vicious it was or whatever, but... You know, the Flyers were running around, and Yager again controlling the puck, causing chaos in the Flyers' end, and... There you see the little bit of a slash up on the gloves from what I could see. And it was certainly enough, I guess, to give the Devils a chance to double the lead here with a minute 15 to go in the first. Power play needs to be better than it was Sunday in Minnesota. It was 0 for 3, and nary a scoring chance with the man advantage. Let's see what happens here as it's worked in deep. Flyers get the quick clear by Coburn. Brodeur opts for the long pass. <laughs> Sent across to Michael Ryder. Taken here by Henrique. Flyers can't clear initially. Now Yager trying to get on the loose puck. Colburn able to work the puck free, and the Flyers bank it away. I chuckle because Marty Brodeur has seen recently Devils up ice breakout on their power play. Hasn't been that efficient, so he said, I'm going to see if I can help and make a difference. And he almost caught the Flyers with two men forechecking, but the Devils weren't able to execute off it. Sent in deep. Lakiana gives to Ryder, who gets it back to the point. Now Marek Zidlitsky holds. Travis Zajac back in the lineup. He's one of the power play point men. Shot by Zidlitsky, blocked away in front. Ryder plays this to Lakiana. Now here's Zajac at the point. Gets the shot away. Saved by Emery, and he holds on. Whoa, now that's what you want to see out of Travis Zajac. That is a laser from long range, and everything about this shot, Steve, is what you like. Uh, Travis pulls it off the boards, and he's shooting to the side where rebound 
would come to one of his teammates. See over there, you want to shoot on the blocker side when you have a guy like Ryder break into the net. And Travis really laid into that one. So, go ahead. 16 seconds to go in the period. So if the Devils don't score, still 45 seconds of power play time with a fresh sheet of ice. Let's see what they do here, Henrique, on the faceoff. Pushed back by Raffles. Shot by Zedlitsky is blocked away. Comes out to center where Jelena has it with nine seconds to go. Just to see if Emery's paying attention. The shot from center ice. And the first period comes to an end with the Devils up one. Maybe a couple mistakes by the Devils, but other than that, Steve, that was a good, solid period. And there you see Jelena going out. I know why he's tapping, Marty. He gave that puck away, and Marty bailed him out. But that's what team's all about. Devils really backing each other up here to start this hockey game, but there's still 40 minutes to go. So, you know, you don't want to say that uh, Devils are in good shape just yet. It'll be one colossal party when the Barnabas Family Series presents Disney on Ice. Let's celebrate at The Rock from November 20th to November 24th. Join Mickey and Minnie Mouse along with all your favorite Disney characters as they take the ice at Prudential Center for a number of spectacular shows. Get your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com or visit PruceCenter.com for more information. Eight shots each for the Devils and Flyers, but New Jersey has the lead. Did Adam Henrique tip that puck? Let's find out. He's with Dev Placey. Okay, Steve, right off the ice because he's out there on the power play. So let's start with that. Are you executing the way you want to? You had a, about half a power play there. Yeah, we kind of uh, we got a couple draws there and won, won some battles, tried to get some pucks right to the net, um, which is key. Uh, a couple got blocked there, but um, you know, we came in good off the rush. I almost got a bounce there uh, and got in, but... We just got to keep pushing, keep skating here, keep getting pucks to the net. All right, Eric Gell in a shot and got a puck to the net. We're going to take a look at it. And you got to tell us, and you got to be honest, was that your stick that touched the puck? I tipped it, yeah. Um, you know, we got to get on the four check. Um, you know, we executed the way we've been practicing all week. And, uh, you know, Teddy and Ryan's made a good play to get up to Jelly. And he's, you know, he's got a great shot up there. So I just tried to find a hole and get a stick on it. What is it like when you're there and you know his shot is coming? Um, you know, you just hope it doesn't hit you. Um, but, you know, he's got a great shot. Um, you know, he's played awesome for us since he's been uh, called up here. And, um, you know, he deserves it. All right. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. So it is, it seems like goal number five. We'll see if they change it. Our thanks to Adam Henrik. That would be his fifth. The Devils, though, have won, and that's the critical thing right now. They're leading at the uh, GMC intermission report. It's one nothing Devils. Ken Danico will join us. Quick break. Back after this. Saturday on MSG Plus, Sal Trotwick, Ken Danico, Dave Maloney, and E.J. Raddick. Have a look at the local hockey scene and a trip around the NHL. Hockey Night Live is presented by Lenox Hill Hospital. That's Saturday, 9.30 on MSG Plus. Jason Arnott, 2000 Stanley Cup champion hero with the New Jersey Devils. His career is done after 18 NHL seasons. Little known fact, with the Edmonton Oilers, he was the runner-up to Marty Brodeur in the 1994 Calder Trophy voting. 417 career goals for six different National Hockey League teams, including two stints with the Devils. Drafted by Glenn Sather when Glenn was up in Edmonton. Trying to build a team around him. It was kind of surprising that they let Jason go. The Oilers did uh, as early as in his career as they did. But boy, when he got to the devil, did he blossom. He, he had a uh, Eric Jelena type shot, as fans remember. And on the point, boy, I could still remember that puck coming from the uh, right corner when you're facing the net. It was usually Elios laying it back there and Jason would just pound that thing, usually into the net. So, Jason, wherever you are, have a great retirement and hope you uh, find what you're looking for after the game. He often found himself on a power play, which the Devils do now. Lakdianov with a shot and a save made by Emery, cleared away. Well, Steve, the Devils have, have a grip on this game. I mean, they, they, have, they have worked to take control. And they're playing a flyer team that's kind of down, and they just don't want to let up. I mean, they really want to go for the juggler. Puck taken here by Yager, centering try. Lakianov is the man in front and skated away by Philadelphia. Matt Reed in the final seconds of the Devils' power play sends it in. Couturier bumps with Travis Zajac, who works the puck loose. 
Penalty time is up. Giroux is out. And a double power play, 0 for 1 on the night. Outlet pass by Adam Henrique. Zajac left the puck behind him. Henrique, between periods, told Deb Placey, yes, he did redirect the puck. He can't catch a break. Not only does he not have the goal yet, he had the assist taken away. Right now, it stands as Jelena and Ryder with the primary assist. Devils miss on a hit on Giroux. Scott Hartnell plays this back. Here's Gill with a shot, and that went wide. Funneled ahead by Andy Green, but kept in by the Flyers, and blocked away by Henrik. Off the shot from Hartnell, Henrik walks in, pass across for Giampa's broken up. Oh, Adam, Adam, Adam. You don't want to pass it there. The Flyers' defense, Steve, has given him a lane to the net. And Adam, you've just scored a goal. You're hot against these Flyers. Take it to the net and just see what happens. Here's Shen back the other way for the Flyers. Save made by Brodeur. Got the pad down, and Jelena plays it ahead in the direction of Zina Subris. Taken here by New Jersey. Damian Bruner gets the feet going and plays it across. Caught up in the skates of Steve Bernier and sends it in deep. Bruner tries to send it back towards Larson at the point, but skated away by the Flyers. And taken here by Mazaros. The ex-Ottawa Senator fires into the Devil's end. Brodeur saw that come off an imperfection in the boards. And it's deflected away by the Devils out to center. Picked up here by Bruner. One man back for Philadelphia. That's Kimo Tiemann. Bruner tied up by Tiemann and taken away. Well, they're one-on-one. -on -one. Damian Bruner wants to toe-drag it and rip it. Couturier fires wide of Brodeur's cage. Quickly into the zone is Wayne Simmons. Devils working ahead to the stick of Matthias Tedenby. Backtracking Michael Raffle, who sends it right back into the Devils' end. Tedenby waits for it along the near board. Tries to get it ahead to Yager, and he gives here to Lochtiano. Andre Lochtiano with a shot, and it's blocked away by Emery. That's the shot first mentality the Devils want to incorporate. They're creating some good outman situations here. Green takes this for the Devils, avoids the hit by Raffle. Wires on the forecheck, comes here to Wayne Simmons. Deep in the zone, he's bumped by Matthias Tedenby. Gets some help from Andy Green. Now Raffle joins the fray for Philadelphia. Worked ahead nicely by Green, and the Devils skated away. Three on three to the stick of Yaramir Yager. Crosses up with his teammates, now plays it across. Return pass for Yager, it got all the way to Emery, who sticks it aside. Sent in deep by Ryan Carter and taken here by Strike. Remains a 1-0 game. Devils have led since the opening minutes. Newberry plays it across, and this is steered in by Simmons. Brodeur waits in the trapezoid, gets it to Larson. Zubris, and this deflects off a flyer stick and out of play. Adam Henry gets the first goal on a deflection. Here he does another good job of blocking this. Here's what I'm talking about. If we get a look here, watch the defenseman, how far he's playing. I'll just stop it here. This lane is wide open. But for some reason, Adam wants to make a prettier play, and he looks to pass it. And there you see Gill making the right play as well, giving the lane to the net, taking away the pass. And I know if Adam could have that over, he would do that entirely different. The good news, though, for he and Tenenby, they're really on the puck tonight. The puck seems to like both of them, and they've uh, sprung for some good chances. Lines created good work with Michael Ryder working on the right wing on this unit for the Devils. Tenenby. Under some pressure here, Mazaros pokes it free. Now Adam Larson giving chase. Avoids the hit from Zach Ronaldo. Puck taken here by Adam Hall. The Flyers' fourth line trying to get things going for Philadelphia, but it's cleared away by New Jersey. Newberry plays it across. Adam Hall in. Blocked away easily by Brodeur to the stick of Peter Harrell. He's hammered in front of the flyer bench. Now Brodeur again. He's seeing a lot of the puck tonight, Marty Brodeur, and playing it well. And a lot of the ice. Hammered into the flyer zone by Andy Green. Left behind goal by Emery. The wait continues for Claude Giroux to get his first goal. Sends it into the devil's zone. Hartnell opts to play it back for Braden Coburn. Hartnell behind the net. Voracek comes out with a centering try and a shot that went off the mark. 
Hartnell keeps it alive. Played back at the point. Wrist shot blocked away and taken here by the Devils. Zajac sees it knocked off his stick, and the Flyers punch it away to Voracek. Got by him, but it's picked up here by Giroux. He's over the line. Voracek tried to play it across for the cutting Hartnell. Broken up by the Devils and back the other way. Oh, Zubris tried to get a stick on it. And a roughing call coming to one of the Flyers. And now Andy Green makes a nice play, Steve. He actually hits the stick of the Flyer who's attempting to pass it to a wide-open winger. Hartnell, without an assist in many, many games, this is the end of it. And there's a hit after the play. I don't know. Right there, Andy Green stepped up, struck the stick, so the uh, pass went errantly to Peter Harold, who cleared the puck. And I, and I don't know if I necessarily agree with that one, Steve. I like to have some hitting in the game. I don't think it was vicious or necessarily really late. But it's the way they're calling him in today's game. Devils don't mind here as Reed plays it out to center and taken by Zidlitsky. He operates with Jelena, two defensemen. On the power play point for the Devils to start the power play. It's Yager, Lakdianov, and Michael Ryder on as well. Devils are offside. Well, Pete DeBoer's got to like what he's seen so far. And, best of all, the goal. The one goal in the first period broke a very long scoring drug 151 minutes and three seconds steve didn't quite make the second longest scoring drug for new jersey not for the franchise that was 159 minutes and 18 seconds nine days better than seven periods for the devils to find the back of the net feels good as they operate with a one nothing lead surely for them here's lakdianov Gets around Coburn, back to collect this, Nicholas Grossman. 120 left on the Devils' power play. Work free to the stick of Adam Hall, who plays it ahead for Raffle. Dumps in, change here for the Flyers on the penalty kill. Zidlitsky feeds to Yager, just over a minute to go, and the Devils' man advantage. Yager. Over the line. Nice job by Zajac to stay on side. Tied up by Nicholas Grossman. Cut uh, jarred loose and taken here by Bernier. Walked back to the point for Zidlitsky. Plays it across here. Zajac pulls the trigger. Save made by Emery. Travis gets it back at the point and gives it up to Yager. On the half board, Yaramir Yager. Lakdianov. Back to Yager. Lakdianov goes in front of the net. Crosses up with Bernier. Taken here by Yager. Shot from the circle. Goes wide and taken here by Zidlitsky. Now pressure time for the Devils with half a minute to go. Bernier gives here to Yager. Back to the point for Zajac. Played across Zidlitsky. Holds and takes it down low. Tries to feather one for Lakdiana. Deflects here at the point. Zajac covering there. Zajac back to Yager at the circle. Yager shot blocked away in front. That's Grossman who got in the way and it's cleared to center. Couple good chances on the power play, Steve. It's a power play that, oh, you're not doing cartwheels over, but it hasn't been too bad so far. Good puck movement and good shot selection. Scott Hartnell out of the box. We're back to five on five. Power play 0 for 2 tonight. Devils trying to make something out of this five on five, though. Taken here by the Flyers. Hartnell winds it around the boards, and the Devils retreat as Larson goes back to center. Better than seven minutes in to period two. Still a one-nothing game. Glad you've joined us on MSG+. Plus. Funneled ahead to the glove of Couturier. Shelling on a second try. Backs it into the flyer zone. Emery works it along the near boards. Big hit by Ryan Carter. Deep in the zone on Timonen. This goes all the way to Brodeur. He hesitated, didn't know whether to play the puck, and that's the gray area with hybrid icing here. Well, Marty stayed in the crease, which is what helped him, or they would have waved it off. Well, we know when you're not scoring, you're not winning, you've got to look for the positives. And there's not much there, as you see what he's done since October 1st. And it's tough. You know, a lot of people are wondering what's wrong with this team. They say it happened in training camp. Some guys didn't come back in shape. I mean, how does that happen? Um, you know, when you're making all this money and you're paid to be productive, we've gone over some of the numbers here, and I'm thinking, how can, you know, Hartnell and Giroux not have anything to show all the power play time they get, the five-on-fives, important ice time? You know, I, I just think 
Accountability is something that's really hard, but you need to put it in your team. Here's LeCavalier who fires wide. And that's part of the firepower that you mentioned. You look at this Flyers roster 1 through 20, and this doesn't appear to be the makeup of a last place team in any division, including the Metropolitan. Played here by Giroux. Dumps into the Devil's end. Back to collect this is Zedlitsky. Swoops it away from Shen. On the second try, works it out of the zone. Al Gill tied up at center. Now the Cavalier plays it across. Giroux onside. Tried to toe drag on Volchenkov, who'd have none of it. Battle deep in the Devil's end. Mazaros trying to pinch in. Puck taken away here and skated to center by Anton Volchenkov. Fires into the Flyers' zone. Tedenby against the much bigger Gill. Devils win the puck. Shot by Henrik is saved by Emery. Adam just all, Henrik all over the puck tonight. He's belted at the line by Ronaldo, but quickly back to his skates is Adam Henrik. Taken by the Devils, Larson plays it across. Henrik tried to dump in on a backhand, collected here by Jelena instead. Devils trying to snap a two-game losing streak. Blank in the two previous games prior to this. They have the goal tonight, shot by Zubris, and covering up is Ray Emery. We're better than halfway through regulation now. That's the 14th Devils shot. They lead by one. Well, the Devils traded two of their 1995 Stanley Cup winning players to acquire Jason Arnott in 1998. The Cadillac trivia question, who were they? The answer, please. Two pretty prominent players for the well, New Jersey Devils, too. Well, well Billy G, Billy Guerin was one. Oh, Larry Zalapukin. I would not have gotten that one. Of course, Billy G was the... The central figure there. He now works as a pretty prominent uh, management person with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And probably maybe would be voted the nicest devil ever. Mm. And that's saying a lot because there's many that would be in that category. But I just, Billy was just the most popular guy that I have ever met because he always had a smile and always had something nice to say. And he was funny and loved to laugh. And, Beyond that, he was a heck of a hockey player. thought there was a 400-way tie for first place in that respect with the <laughs> yeah, nicest guy. Go. But he's included, and so are you, by the way, as Simmons plays it across and picked up here by Rappel. Sealed off by Peter Harold in his return to the lineup. Yager tries to get it ahead, and Lakhtyanov works this out to center. With each passing minute, the pressure grows for the Flyers. Lowest scoring team in the National Hockey League by average coming into tonight. Simmons with a centering try, deflected away. Centering try in front for Couturier, and this is quickly skated away by Steve Bernier. Motors into the Flyers and tries to get around Timonet. Ridden off by the veteran Finn, but Bernier still works it back to the point. Shot by Volchenkov is deflected away. Giroux able to play this across, barely, and the Flyers get this to the stick of Scott Hartnell. Hartnell, pass across, a shot, and Brodeur might have gotten a piece of that as it's deflected away, and the net is knocked it off the mooring. Devils continue to lead, 1-0. Talk about accountability. Adam Henrique is one player the Devils need to score. And he scored five of them in 11 games, counting tonight against these Flyers. Here you see a dandy off the nice pass from Zajac. He got the tip tonight. And what I like is Steve, he, he just looks like he wants to control his line shift. And right now he's out there against Giroux. And that's what you need out of the centerman. He's got to be better than the other forwards on that particular shift. And Adam has been the best forward most times when he's been out on the ice tonight. Started off as a Calder Trophy finalist in his rookie year. Superb back in 2011-2012. The Devils insist that was not the highlight of what they expect to be a long, productive career for Adam Henrique. Here's Tedenby dumping in, and the aforementioned Henrique is hit by Grossman. Tedenby tries to come away with it. Flyers skate this out to center ice still no scoring chances in this second period for philadelphia they just have two so far in the hockey game 32 minutes old to this point as it's played across here to Giroux. pass for hartnell he can't control penalty to, uh, on the back check by gianta 
It's a hook. Yeah, Steve doesn't like it, and I gotta see, I, he starts down on the shaft as Hartnell's gonna shoot, and that was legal, but let's see if it runs up. Let's see if it runs up the stick here, right there. New Jersey Jones, number 11, two minute mark. Kinda hard to tell, it's from a long range there. But if he got the gloves here, we'll see. Yep. You gotta call it, Steve. Good call by the officials. Now the Devils gotta continue to be aggressive as they have been when they've been shorthanded so far tonight. Flyers power play. 27th in the league coming into tonight. Strike with a drive. Save Brodeur and he holds on. Now that's just beautiful. Marty Brodeur sliding across, just flowing into this blast by Mark Strike, but the key is Marty Brodeur can't drop this. Look at the Flyers all converging on the net. If there's a rebound, there could be trouble. But that's one of those strong type of moves that Marty's making where he's starting to control things around the crease. Zubris with the defensive zone draw and he wins it and Andy Green with the quick clear. Dinas got the draw back from Vincent LeCavalier. Flyers start from scratch here as Mark Strike starts the rush here for Philadelphia. One nothing game, seven and a half to go in the middle period. Green on the penalty kill again, sends it the length of the ice. Mark Strait, another big free agent signing for the Flyers. Led them to believe that they were going to be a highly offensive team this year. That hasn't seemed to pan out as the wins as well. Here's LeCavalier, works it back to the point. Flyers try to set up here. Shoveled back in, LeCavalier picks this up. Fires in front, loose puck gobbled up by Andy Green who skates it away. The only flyer that's been a good return for the money so far this year has been number 40, LeCavalier, who's playing with a full shield after taking a terrible laceration off a punch he had in a fight last week. Long time Tampa Bay Lightning. Star and captain taken here shorthanded by Dinah Zubris, and this will get the crowd worked up as Zubris kills more time in the offensive zone with 43 to go in the flyer power play. Le Cavalier to the bench, taken here by the Flyers, and Strike fires in. Balchenkov and Lawson deep in the devil zone. Zubris again. Gets the stick on it and clears it away. Terrific kill by New Jersey so far with 17 to go. Taken away by Zajac. Gives here to Bernier. He absorbs a hit. Flyers can't get out of their own way as it's taken here by Simmons and played across. Now they're in the offensive zone. Scott Hartnell tied up by Zablitsky. Out of the box is Steven Gianta back to five on five. And Gio sends one Ray Emery's way. Excellent kill by the Devils to keep the Flyers scoreless. Here's Simmons in his own end. Fired back in by Eric Jelinoff. And icing is the call against New Jersey. No, the faceoff will come in the neutral zone and that enables us to step aside. Uh, Vincent LeCalvier is wearing a uh, full shield tonight because of this fight. Steve Oletsky just is reared back and firing him. And it's going to be coming up here, right? There was one, one earlier. Then he took a few around the lower part of his face and got cut pretty badly. They were afraid it might have been a concussion, but he's back in the lineup after sitting out a couple. But you don't want him fighting. But I guess... You put on that flyer uniform, things get desperate, and you just find another side of your personality, I guess. Boy, the whole dynamic of everything that happened in this building Friday night. It's fascinating as it's played across by Gianta. This is the Flyers' first home game, by the way, since that night against the Capitals. They were on the road for two. And the Natives are getting restless here in Philadelphia. Their team trailing here. And an inability to score is now the big issue here for the Flyers. Offside is the call as this came out of the zone and came back. 
Philadelphia averaging just 1.57 goals per game coming into tonight. That's dead last, 30th in the National Hockey League. Great room for improvement on the Devils' side with this as well. 28th overall. Buffalo is the other team with less. At the top of the spectrum, San Jose and St. Louis with better than 3.46 for the Blues and 3.73 for the San Jose Sharks. Well, Ray Emery, uh, Steve, we can get to it here in a bit, but there may be a rule change. You know, the general managers are meeting next Tuesday in Toronto, and he left his area, his crease, went through the neutral zone, down to the other end, and started that fight with Holtby. And the rumor is that they're going to change that rule where the goalie cannot cross, well, I would think center, because that's the rule now. Mm -hmm. They're saying they can't even leave his zone. But I don't see how that would work. But to initiate a fight, if he, if he crosses center to initiate a fight, he's going to get a 10-game suspension, which I, I can't argue with that. It's Brendan Shanahan himself who said, I hate what Ray Emery did. Shot from the point. Blocked away and taken here by Zubris. He's under pressure from Couturier. Had it taken away, but the pass towards the point comes out to center instead. Braden Colburn unable to drop this back. Will it take just one goal tonight for a victory? Here's Couturier, sticked aside by Marty Brodeur. Devils surely want more than that. Little breathing room here, Raffle. Deep in the zone, puck jawed loose and taken away by Peter Harrell to the stick of Yaramir Yager. Skated out the center and punched in by Yager. Devils get the change they want. Yager stays on the forecheck, the rest of the bench, and taken here by strike for Philadelphia. Comes out to center, taken by Zedlitsky, who shovels right back in. It's off the netting and deflects out of play. Cam Jansen's season debut. Looking so forward to this moment tonight. Had a couple of shifts so far tonight. He has to be disciplined, Chico, and if he is, the dimension he adds is a good thing. Lou Lavarello pointed out yesterday, probably had his best camp as a New Jersey mm -hmm. double. For what's that worth? But he knows, just four games played at the NHL level last year. What does he have to do to be more of a regular? Well, he had a pretty good first period. Now, I know he only had uh, three shifts. But he was under control when he went in on the fourth check. You know, the referees know he's in the game. They're going to be watching him. His reputation probably isn't the best. And officials are thinking, I don't want this thing to get out of hand. If he's brought up just to cause, you know, a ruckus and cause us grief with some chaos, they're going to give him a penalty. And he didn't do that. And I thought he was very effective. I know it was only three shifts, but as, as Pete DeBoer said, it's also maybe in the locker room. I mean, you know what he's like. His enthusiasm is always contagious. And I, I thought with the injury to with Eliosh and the fact that they could find a way to get him into the lineup here in Philly and maybe tomorrow night Toronto's got a pretty tough team. Why not? And so far, it's worked well because the Devils do have more energy I, than I've seen in a while tonight. I'm not trying to tempt fate here, but... Cam's in, a couple of hostile venues to play as LeCavalier tries to center one. Gill under some pressure, hammered out in front by Matt Reed. Not trying to tempt fate, but the Devils have had only two fights all season. Ryan Plo, Bryce Salvador in games one and three of this season, that's all. Yeah, and you don't necessarily want Cam to initiate it. Mm. You know, you want him to play a physical game, but if anything gets crazy, yeah, you, you want him to step up and help. And the Devils on a late line change. It calls for the offside. Well, you know, this used to be a house of horror, Steve, to come in here and play teams. Just would get the Philly flu, which is awful. But how about this? Six of the last eight games, they've gone down in defeat. And they've only scored 11 goals in that span. And, you know, the crowd is starting to turn on them. You know, and it's not just this year, last year. Someone said, you know, when the thing really went south for them was when the Devils dominated them. Remember Flyers beat Pittsburgh in the playoffs? Mm -hmm. That first round, and then the Devils just took them to task. And Flyers weren't even in that series. Oh, Marty Broder gets knocked down. Swept away. And banked to center by Matthias Tedenby. Brodeur is back up. He looks no worse for the wear. And it was his own man that slid into him, so referee couldn't call, uh, make the whistle call. Given away here to the stick of Scott Hartnell. And now the Devils try to settle things down. Played across by Peter Harrell to Andy Green. Under two minutes to go in the middle period. Steered into the flyer zone by Michael Ryder. Yeah, I just want to finish that. Many people say that 
it really went south and turned against the Flyers after that series. Remember, Pronger never played after that. Uh, then they had the issue with Carter and uh, Richards, and they just seemingly haven't recovered since. Philadelphia, you might recall, won in overtime on a Sunday afternoon to take game one, and that was their one moment of that series. The Devils, from that point forward, played really one of the most disciplined series they've played in any playoff as Brodeur takes that shot and sticks it aside. They would win in five, New Jersey, to advance to the Eastern Conference Final. Here's Yager over the line, drops this, sent in deep by Zubris. Nice job by Yager to work it back to the point. Shot by Jelena. Saved by Emery. The rebound sitting there, and Ray got that as well. Staying on it is Yager. Final minute of the period. Yaramir Yager. Beautiful stick work deep in the flyer zone. Where does he go next? Takes it to the top. Funnels one ahead. Lakdianov trying to get a stick on this. Backhand try. It's still loose in front of the mass of humanity, and the whistle blows anyway. Well, here we're going to see Marty Brodeur getting cut down. And what happens here? Oh, it's Steven Gionta gets knocked down by a flyer. And that goal would have counted. And that puck came dangerously close to being corralled by one of the flyers. But how about this give and go? And this is what you like about Eric Jelena. He's moving, Steve, to open up the passing lane. He's not saying, Yarmer, you get me the puck and I'll shoot it. He's saying, I'm going to get open. And then he knows Yarmer will get him the biscuit. And now again, he's going to be swirling down low. So now it's four on three. And that's, see how that's taking a flyer to the top of your screen there? So the flyers are breaking down defensively. And the Devils just really in sync with their forwards and defense reading off each other, getting open for good passes, and Jelena's big blast almost came loose for a nice rebound. Under half a minute to go on the middle period. Matt Reed dumps into the Devils' end. Hall trying to get on it for the Flyers. Ryan Carter helps push this out to center. Taken here by Braden Coburn, the Flyers' defenseman. The stick got knocked away and a whistle on the play. Faceoff will come out towards, let's see, they're taking it all the way back into the flyer zone. Yeah, they're calling it an icing it save. Is. They're on their side of uh, center ice when they drilled it in. But Devils only 16 shots, they've given up 14. But what I like, Steve, is they are playing it tight. Just like the Flyers did, they're saying, hey, as you were mentioning, one goal could be enough, but at the very best, not giving the Flyers any confidence or this crowd a chance to get into the game is paramount. Hammered at the point by Jelena, still loose at the circle. Lakiana pulled the trigger. Comes here to Matt Reed's stick. And let's listen to the crowd in Philadelphia as the second period ends. Can't blame him. Devils haven't helped their cause by playing such a strong positional game. But at the same time, Flyers just showing not much life here at home. And, uh, you know, Steve, they've changed the coach. They've made trades. There may, may be more on the way because the Flyers are not looking like they're coming out of the funk that they're in. Still 20 minutes to go. Promotional nights are back and better than ever for the 2013-2014 season. Get a 2014 team calendar and chow down on dollar hot dogs when the Devils take on the Jets on November 25th and take home a limited edition Bryce Salvador poster when the Hurricanes come to town November 27th. Visit NewJerseyDevils.com forward slash promotions or complete the promo schedule and secure your seats. Let's go downstairs. Cam Jansen back with the Devils and he's with Deb Placey. He is, and we had some fun this morning after the after the skate talking about, well, the Devils need goals, they need to score, so the logical call-up is Cam Jansen, but, but you've come up and, and done your thing. Yeah, you know, um, if I do score, uh, it'll it'll be fun. But, um, but no, i, I got to bring energy and uh, keep everything simple. Uh, get, it out, get it out, get it in, and um, i got to hit. And uh, uh, the boys are playing pretty good. Um, it's a hard building to play in, and I just got to go do my thing. You, you'd mentioned the building, booze cascading down on the Flyers as they left the ice. Does it seem different here tonight? No, this is uh, pretty normal. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, I've gotten booze spilt on me plenty here, um, but but that's fun. It, it's fun, and, and uh, you know, uh, opposing teams. Uh, I'm sure they enjoy it. They they, they love the uh, the atmosphere. So, um, you know, uh, so it, it, teams get pumped up to come in here, and and um, we're playing pretty good. Uh, 
despite their, uh, their crowd. I, I wanted to ask you about a couple of the young guys, because you have played with them in Matias Ted and being Eric Jelena. And, and what are you seeing from them even tonight? Oh, they're playing well. I mean, Teddy just, uh, he, he keeps his feet moving. Uh, he's, he's hard to stop. He's, uh, he's pretty shifty. He's like a little water bug flying all over the place. And uh, Jelly's got a bomb. He's got a very, very hard slap shot. And he's a big kid, and he hits, and uh, he's smart with the puck. So uh, they're playing really good hockey right now, and, uh, you know, it's, it's helping us. All right. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Cam Jansen and the Devils are in pretty good shape. They're up 1-0 after 40 minutes. A lot of booze here in Philadelphia, but I think they were mostly directed at their own team, which you don't normally see. We've got Ken Danico with us here in Philly, and we'll chat with him about that second period right after this. Get reaction from Coach DeBoer and the Devils players after the game. Highlights and Chico and Dano's analysis tonight on the Devils postgame show presented by eSurance. Immediately following the action here in Philadelphia. Devils with a 1-0 lead. Three players returning from injury tonight, and hopefully this quartet is not far behind. Patrick Eliash has missed the last three with an upper body injury. Placed on injured reserve today. Still a chance he'll be back by the weekend. Bryce Salvador with the foot fracture out four. Ryan Klo, concussion symptoms nine. John Merrill, we hope he's doing okay. The good news with Merrill, the Devils say he came out of the concussion tests very well, just giving him some time to recover from those facer lacerations. Well, all four of those guys, very important, but Patrick Elias, especially on the power play, he's kind of the hard drive that runs that thing, and Patrick's one of the smartest players in the National Hockey League in terms of hockey sense. What I also like about Patrick is he's demanding. You know, he'll talk to players about slowing it down, or you thought about this play instead of that play, and they really miss some five-on-five, five, of course, but especially when they've got the man advantage. So let's hope he's raring and ready to go by Sunday night against Nashville. Devils continue the road trip and finish up three straight away from home tomorrow night against Toronto. Big third period underway here in New Jersey. Trying to snap a mini two-game losing streak as this is fired into the zone by Andy Green. And it's icing against New Jersey. Well, it's going to be an interesting start to this third period, Steve, because it is crunch time. And both teams have had trouble in the third period. So we'll see how, how this shakes out, Steve, but these first four shifts, shift by each line, is going to be very important to the direction this third period is going to take. Fred Berube reunites Giroux with Voracek and Hartnell as the Flyers win the draw back to Braden Coburn. In the corner taken here by Andy Green. Worked ahead, that pass got by the stick of Yager. And we'll do this one more time, another icing call. Tonight's cold hard facts are brought to you by Cross Brood Coors Light. And this is kind of telling. Here you see the Devils outscored by opponents 15 to 6. Uh, but they're 2-0-1. They've gotten the point each time when they've been leading after two, which they are now. But how about the Flyers? They've been outscored in the third period, 16-6, but they've lost two of those games, Steve, and that really hurts them. Now they have to try and reverse that with a comeback here in the third, which hasn't happened yet for them this year. Greg Berube pointing to the Flyers' struggles. He said it's not effort, it's mental. Do you buy into that, that a team can just be fragile late in the game? Watch the Flyers here as Giroux sends one in front. Voracek got a stick on it, and Brodeur made the save. Played back towards the point, and Nicholas Grossman. Hammered by Streit and blocked away by the Devils. Hartnell quickly on this. Voracek, the Flyers buzzing here in the opening minute plus of period three. Played back towards Grossman. His shot might have gone off Peter Harold's skate, and Streit picks this up. Good response by the Flyers as they let them out of the gate to start the period. Gloved down at the point by Giroux, who sends back in deep. Flyers get a change. Devils catch their breath, and Henrique escape this to center. Kanji, an answer to your question. I mean, I could see it happening for a, game, for a number of games. The season is 14 games into the season. If the Flyers are still having trouble and it's all mental, then you don't have the right leadership. It can't just be mental. Because if it is, talk about it, get it straightened out, and let's start hammering some people and getting this thing going in the right direction. So I think some of it is that, but unfortunately, I think maybe some of uh, the Flyers' problem is they don't have the skill level that they maybe thought they did. Boy, this is mystifying with a couple of all-star forwards in the fold. 
Taken here by Philadelphia and Braden Shin. Nice to play it across. Pass intercepted by Bernier, and this deflects into the Flyers' bench for a stoppage in play. Tonight's upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus Devils in Toronto tomorrow night. David Clarkson's awaiting. 10 and 5 Maple Leafs are the opponents, 7.30 on MSG+. Plus. Then home against the Predators. We'll get a look at Seth Jones Sunday at 7 on MSG+. Plus. Devils Rangers at the Garden Tuesday at 7 p.m. MSG+. Plus 2. Love down in the flyer zone. And taken here by Andre Mazaros. Darts away from Gianta and fires into the Devils' end. Zach Ronaldo on, trying to gobble up the loose puck. Takes a bump. Adam Larson steers the puck away. Green to the stick of Ryan Carter, who chips it out of the zone. Careful, Jack Cam. Nice hit. Perfect, Steve. Cleanly levels Mazaros to free up the puck. Now taken here by Ryan Carter. Back to the point. Redirected. They score! And Jansen with the redirection. Cam Jansen with his second goal ever as a devil. And it's 2-0. Oh, boy! Cam was talking to Dam about if I score, it's just such a big bonus. But it's all him on the forecheck. I'm watching this thing, and he's got Mazaros in his sights. And you think, Cam, be careful. Make sure you bring the right angle before you hit. He does that, and he's going to get some help. Look at this player down there. He loses a stick. And who is that? Mazaros, and he kicks off this puck. Cam's going to tip it right here, there, and then it's also going to be Mazaros kicking at it, and it kicks it right between the legs of the goaltender. But there's Cam gets that backhand tip on it. Oh, Steve, that's just awesome for... For Cam Jansen, he, he's just such a genuine individual and loves to play and brings everything he's got. And I know he gets ridiculed sometimes for his hockey, but I got to tell you, to score a goal here in Philadelphia, this is one of his highlights. Kick save by Marty Brodeur. They keep the Flyers off the scoreboard. Bouncing puck gets by Scott Hartnell. Gobbled up here by Riders. A penalty coming up. Should be interference against the Flyers, and the power play will go to work. Now here's where the Devils want that killer instinct. But I was just going to say, give Pete DeBoer some credit here, too. Right? It's a one nothing game. You're early in the third period. What does he do? He puts out the fourth line, because he's always said, if we're calling you up, come ready to play, because you're going to get ice time. We're not going to just have you sit on the bench. Now, Cam Jansen only had five shifts the first two uh, periods. Now, Tenenby gets knocked down, but he gets some ice time in the third, and a huge dividend for him and the team. And now, Pete DeBoer is just hoping that this power play can come to life. Larson and Carter get the assists on the second goal scored by Cam Jansen, and Yager holds at the half board for New Jersey, playing with a two-goal lead. Sent down low, passed out by the stick of Michael Ryder, and Coburn tries to clear the zone for the Flyers. And offside there by Zedlitsky. But what you like about this game so far, Steve, is that it's been this team concept we talked about. Devils are not trying to build this thing around one or two players. Uh, it's got to be everybody's got a role, and they've got to function and perform well in that role. And I think tonight is a terrific example. No one's done too much or too little. Everyone's pretty much performed at the level you would hope and expect. And so far, paying off in a big way. But again, it's still a long way to go. Marek Zidlitsky has this. Devils power play continues as Marek skates it into the zone. Shakes away from Adam Hall. Chopped out by the Flyers and punched out to center. Still ample time remaining in the man advantage. 1.15 to go in the power play as Yager leaves for Zidlitsky. Now thrown across for Zajac. Devils gain the zone. Travis winds it around the boards to the stick of Michael Ryder. Tried to send it in deep for Yager. Good job by the Devils to control as Lakianov plays and gets it back from Zajac. Down low, picks up Yager. Yaromir Yager holds to the side of the net. Oh, Lakianov fanned on it. Yager can't find the handle and taken here by the Flyers. Short-handed trying for the two-on-one. The pass by Hall was broken up and offside is the call. Here's the Tri Honda game recap. 44 seconds to go in a Devils power play. Adam Henrique, the goal now has been changed. It's his fifth of the year. And Cam Jansen with his first of the season and second ever in a Devils uniform. Marty Brodeur 
has made 16 saves. And we should mention Steve. Career goal number four for Cam. Those others came in a stint with his hometown St. Louis Blues. Jansen's first stint with the Devils traded away in the deal that brought Bryce Salvador to New Jersey. Then reacquired by Lou Lamorello for the second stint. Taken here by the Devils. Leading by two. And here's Henrique. Drops this back for Bruner. Still a dozen seconds to go in the man advantage. Time for another rush. Damian Bruner over the line. Sends it in deep. Henrique lets it go to the point. Andy Green gets rid of it. Laid off the boards by Jelenon. Sent in deep. Hartle's out of the box. Penalty time is up. Flyers back to five on five as it's controlled by Nicholas Grossman. Did you see Cam's heart on the Devils bench going a million miles oh. a minute? Oh, oh. Did you see the celebration? That was fun to watch. Giveaway by the Flyers. Gianta sent it across and now punched in deep. By ball check off. Came off an imperfection in the boards and Gill sends it the length of the ice. Icing against the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay, everybody doing well here. Now watch. You see Travis Ajak. He gets caught here. Watch his glove. Watch what he's going to do with his glove here. He reaches down and stops that passer. That winger for the Flyers would have been waltzing in alone on Marty Brodeur. He has had a big game tonight. Steve, he's been shooting the puck on the net. He's been assertive when he's gotten the puck. He's gotten open to get the puck to the net. And there you see in the defensive role as he was playing the point on the penalty kill. He made a big play defensively. And I haven't looked at his face-off numbers, but I'll look that up and give those to you in a second here. There's a big hit by Eric Shelena on Matt Reed. Puck freed up. Sent in front. Giante on the centering try. Redirected in front. It went wide. Jansen going for another big hit on Braden Shen. Just missed with that. Dumped in by Carter. Ray Emery to the stick of Mark Strike. Better than six and a half into period three. Devils with a two-goal lead, but here's Strike for the Flyers. Gives to Hartnell. His shot deflected off the stick of Marek Zidlitsky. Veteran check defenseman plays it ahead. Now Carter's pass. Broken up by the stick of Claude Giroux, and he has it taken away by Yager and the Devils. Here comes Dinah Zubris. Tries to drop it for Yager. Tiemannen collects the loose puck for the Flyers and skates this away towards center. Zidlitsky gets it away from the onrushing Hartnell. Balchenkov, who took a hit deep in the zone, that got some rare applause from the Flyers crowd tonight. It was a captain, Claude Giroux, because he's sensing this crowd is going to turn on the Flyers. They're doing a lot of booing right now. Pass taken away by Damian Bruner. Zubris and Hartnell had words as well as they went to the bench. So we'll keep an eye on the tone of the game here as the Flyers looking for something to reverse momentum. Here's Mazaros to center ice. Raffle tangled up by Travis Zajac. Dogged determination again by Zajac, and he sends it in deep. Picked up here by Bruner. Tries to shake loose of Mazaros. Works it back to the point. Wrist shot, Andy Green. Save made by Emery. Left the rebound there, but the Flyers take it away. Ryder with the intercept. Michael Ryder plays it down low. Played across by Zajac. He was looking for Bruner, but broken up by Philadelphia. Wayne Simmons and the Flyers are offside with 11 and a half to go in regulation and a 2-0 New Jersey lead. Tonight's Timberland Pro Hard hits of the game highlights. And it's been physical at times. There you see Strike taking a blast against the boards. There's the old domino effect with Harold hitting Simmons who runs over Brodeur. Then Harold gets knocked down but draws a penalty on that hit. And the Devils have been very effective. And the one we didn't show you, but might have been the best of the night, was Cam Jansen knocking down Mazaros, knocking a stick out of his hand, and then moments later tipping the puck. And Mazaros, with no stick, kicked at the puck and deflected it through 
Emery's uh, legs for Cam Jansen's first goal of this season and fourth of his career. I don't think I'm stretching it. That's one of the great individual plays by any devil so far this season through 15 games, Chico. I am with you. That is so true, Steve. The Flyers have had little. One scoring chance in the last 35 minutes of play. Mm. The Devils have 10 in the hockey game to Philadelphia's three. Now to try to finish the deal. Andy Green under pressure in his own zone and worked out to center to the stick here of Grossman. 2 nothing Devils lead. Matt Reed plays this across. Taken here by Strike, but again, the Flyers are offside and the crowd is growing testy. Well, for any team in the National Hockey League, it's very important that their defensemen get shots on net. That's just the way the game's going. And how about this, Eric Jelena stepping up. These are shots on goal per 60 minutes. And that's impressive. Garrison with a big shot. Danny Boyle more effective than it's hard. Subban with a blast. But again tonight, Jelena started it off, Steve, by just grabbing the puck and looking so confident. And then I really like what he's done with his stick defensively as well. Big for him. Had a goal and assist very early. Pete DeBoer said he wanted to see a little more consistency out of the rookie defenseman. It's a big step for him tonight. Zubas plays it across, and it comes here to the stick of Sean Couturier. Plays it here for Raffle. Long shot goes wide of Brodeur's cage and funneled in deep. Here's Wayne Simmons on the puck for Philadelphia. Two Devils converge on him. Lakdianov and Shelina taken away. Tiemann pinching in, trying to get something going for the Flyers. And taken here by Zubris. Dinas on with Lakdianov and Yager. Able to gain the zone. Nice job by the other two to remain on side. Zubris kills some time. Devils can change some personnel while he does that, and it's dumped back in deep. Lawson with the hit. Shot by Gianta is held by Ray Emery. Well, Devils fans, don't forget, stay tuned for the post-game show. It's presented by Eshorance. Chico and I to be joined by Kenny Danica, who's made the trip, and Dev Placey with the star of tonight's game and more. From start to finish, the best road game of the season for the Devils. I know a bigger win may have happened in Boston, and the Devils have to finish this off, but I'm just saying there hasn't been many lowlights for the Devils in this game. They have really kept the pressure on the Flyers. Their energy level's been good, Steve. There's been very few breakdowns. What'd you say? Flyers have had one scoring chance? Over the course of 35 plus minutes now, yeah. Yep, yep. So that's that's this is this is the level of play that the, the Devils want to try to attain night after night. And they certainly want to finish this one in a strong manner. Off the draw, punch towards goal, and Ray Emery says, let's do this again, guys. Third straight face-off to his left. Well, you know, we're going to see James Van Riemsdyk um, tomorrow night. And, and here's the part of the problem with the Flyers. They made a, tr a trade for Luke Shen, gave up James Van Riemsdyk. Luke Shen has been a healthy scratch. Three straight games, the guy playing in front of him, Hal Gill, 38 and a half years old. Steve, this is the problem with the Flyers. Their good young players are, for some reason, underachieving in a big way. And in Luke's situation, not even in a lineup when they really should need him. And you'd think he'd, he'd be a little bit embarrassed where Hal Gill's playing ahead of him. But not that there's anything wrong with Hal Gill, but I mean, Hal Gill's 38 and a half. And this kid's got his career in front of him, and he's a young guy. He was a first-round draft pick and part of a big trade. Luke Shen says he's working on skating and moving the puck quicker. You would prefer to do that during the course of these games. He's doing it simply in practice for a week now. There's a shot by Ryder, and Ray Emery is not playing these pucks as cleanly as we saw him play them on Saturday night. Long pass for Voracek. Gets on it. Plays it across. Hartnell tried to pull the trigger, and Jelena with the blocked shot. Here's Strike recovering for Philadelphia. Played to the opposite point. Loose in front and punched away by Adam Larson. And Eric Jelena really struggling now. Ooh, that was one they should have gotten out, the Devils. Jelena was able to get off the ice. Andy Green on to take his place, and it's chipped out of the zone by Matthias Tedenby. Jelena walks down the tunnel. Keep an eye on his return, and we hope that certainly soon, as it's taken here by Peter Harold and played across to Green. Eight and a half to go. Two nothing Devils. Here's Zajac over the line. Quick shot and held this time by Emery. 
A 2-0 lead for the Devils in Philadelphia. Between the circle player and Adam Larson in number 22 under the X, Erica Jelena. Now watch what uh, Larson does. He said, no, you stay in front. I'll take the man. I'll take the man. We can't have two guys going for the same man. Now Eric stands there, and he, take, he pays the price, Steve. But as we'll see, this would have been a real good opportunity by Hartnell, but instead Jelena blocked it because... He stayed in the right position with the help of Adam Larson. Unfortunately, he got those skates turned, and that's the most dangerous and vulnerable time for a player blocking a shot when the skates are on a side motion rather than straight ahead. Peter Harold plays this in deep. Devils go with five defensemen now, and it's taken here by Green. Wrist shot got through, but it went wide. Lakianov. Battling for the loose puck in the corner. Works it back to Andy Green. He fires again. Off the backboard. Shot by Lakdianov. Off the side of the net. And it's covered up by Ray Emery. Well, we're heading for Toronto where Monday the class of 2013 in the Hockey Hall of Fame will be inducted. And that will include the late Flyers coach Fred Shiro. His famous words in 1974. Win today. We walk together forever. The message on the chalkboard prior to the team winning it all in 1974. An innovator, he used the morning skate to prepare his team on game day. He's believed to be the first coach in the NHL to do that. Loved in Philadelphia, but he and his team despised around the National Hockey League in his day. They were the... Despise is a very apt word, Steve. But you love Freddie. I mean, Freddie had a big sense of humor, too. Bruner on a backhand. Pad save made by Ray Emery. Two-time Stanley Cup champion in 1974 and 75. Freddie the Fog passed away in 1990. A special moment for his son, Ray, general manager of the Pittsburgh Penguins, surely. Yeah, Freddie had a lot of sayings. One was, people usually get what's coming to them unless it has been mailed. <laughs> and we can all identify that. But that's what he always... They called him a fog, but he wasn't. He, he was sly as a... Fox. Here's Michael Ryder. Pretty sly move. Played across, looking for Henrique, and dumped in deep by Larson. Under seven to go. Devils with a 2 0 lead. Keeping the Flyers pinned in. Gianta plays this off the boards for Michael Ryder. Hall of Fame induction that will have a Devils twist coming up on Monday. We'll discuss that more when we get to Toronto surely tomorrow night. Scott Niedermeyer, Brendan Shanahan, part of that class. Ed Schneider, the owner here, Steve, has taken up a plane full of players. Fifteen of those original Flyers who won Cups here will be up there to honor Fred and, and, of course, Ray, who will be there. And they're beloved here. Well, and then not much as they've been to the finals three other times. Mm. Came close to the, the last year of my career. We went to the seventh game. I was just a backup with Ronnie Hexel. We got to the seventh game against the Oilers. That's the closest they've come since. And I got to tell you, when you look at what's going on now, boy, it doesn't appear that they're within a step or two of getting back there. And you got some work to do here in Philly. Off the draw, Coburn played it back. Strike can't control. Let's see who gets on the loose puck. Lakdianov is there with Yager heading for the net, and he couldn't control. Yarmir Yager takes this in the corner, gives back to Lakdianov. Tangled up deep in the flyer zone. Coming out with it, Yager. Great move to get by Strike. Keeps on going, and a shot redirected. Into the corner for Philadelphia and controlled here by Couturier. Time becoming a factor now for the Flyers. Coburn trying to find the loose puck. All he's able to do is push it out to center. Sent back in the Flyers' end where Emery waits for it. This is Mazaros who plays it across. Devils filling every passing lane. This has been a great defensive effort by them so far tonight. Icing. Claude Giroux, the centerman, didn't even have a stick on the ice, and the fans are letting them all know about it. Well, here's a man who's had a stick not only on the ice, but on the puck. 11 career games. Eight points, Steve. He got a nice tip in the first period that 
probably was the turning point of this hockey game. Whichever team was going to score first would have a big edge, and Adam Henrique made sure it was the Devils. Both goals on redirections tonight for New Jersey. Henrique and Cam Jensen laid across by Philadelphia. Offside are the Flyers again. We'll step aside for the final time with 5.08 to go in the third. Well, the game is brought to you by Nissan. This holiday season gets big savings at Nissan's season to choose. Shop, choose Nissan.com. Shop, choose Nissan.com. And number 25, Cam Jansen starts this play with a big hit in the corner, but watch the celebration. But he gets a stick on the ice, folks. It's a deflected on the backhand tip, and then the smiles. Teethy smiles. Look at Steven Gianta. Larson with his first assist. Carter with his first assist. What a celebration that was. Backhand try by Coburn is steered aside by Marty Brodeur. Demon in battles for the Flyers. It's punched ahead by New Jersey and Michael Ryder. At center ice, Henrique went tumbling down as it's dumped back in by Kimo Timonen. Brodeur will hold on with 4.46 left. Well, Marty Brodeur made some sharp plays in the first period. I know he hasn't been overly tested since then. That's an, an understatement, but, but he looks calm. He, he looks like he wants to take control of the game. He's not making mistakes. Even the last game against the Flyers, a tip deflection had no chance on it. So it's getting better and better for Marty Brodeur, and I think as the team plays better, both goals. Uh, if Corey Schneider is the guy tomorrow, now, like I say, we'll, we'll get to that later. Scans, I'm getting ahead of myself here. There's still 4.30 to go in this game. As Shen brings it over, Braden, not Luke, who's watching from upstairs. Centering try by Voracek, <laughs> goes back, and Grossman dumps in deep. Voracek, ties up Volchenkov, puffed yard loose. Braden Shen works it behind the net. Volchenkov staying close with Voracek. Two big, strong players in the corner. Sajak delivers a hit. Zidlitsky frees up the puck. Flyers just trying to get this cut in half, but it comes to the stick of Jay Zajac, who lifts it into the Flyers' zone. Philadelphia, the setting for a couple of Marty Brodeur's most memorable games in the past. Go back to April of 07. He broke Bernie Perrant's single-season victory record in this building with number 48. Go on to win the dozen a trophy that year in 2006-2007. Larson battling along the near boards. Lakdiano got the puck free. Pass by Simmons, intercepted by New Jersey, and now taken back by Wayne Simmons. Lakdiano got in the way of that pass. One thing Pete DeBoer said, he liked the defensive makeup of his team. Even in the games where they were losing recently. And that's true, but you just can't play defense. And that's what I like about this one, Steve. That terrific defense has it resulted in a lot of good offense. Because positionally, if you're in a good shape defensively, and you turn the puck over, you usually got some formation coming up the ice. and. Peter Harrell steps in. I remember he made a couple of sharp plays like we talked about at the top of the show. Volchikov's been solid. He had to play his role and nothing more. Same with Harrell. The centermen have been very good tonight, which every team needs. You need your centermen being the best players most nights because they dictate everything happening around them. They did want better five-on-five -five production, and they have a pair of five-on-five -five goals here tonight. Taken away by Volchenkov. Sends this towards the flyer zone. Ryder will get on this, and that waves off the icing call. Got it away from Mark Strike. And now Coburn sees it taken away by Gianta. New Jersey looking for the strong finish, leading by two. Outlet pass by Matt Reed. Gets by Giroux, who heads to the bench in frustrating fashion, and it's taken here by Zidlitsky. Coburn banks it off the boards. Given here to Matt Reed. Lay it across. Simmons collects the cross ice pass. His drive is steered aside by Brodeur and deflected out of play. To the bench, Ray Emery. Well, the Flyers have to try something. Building is half empty. 
Fans aren't even hanging around the boo anymore. They're just getting out of here. Nice, nice pad save there by Marty, though. That, that's what I'm talking about. It might not seem like much, but watch. Nice height to this puck. Marty, what does he do? Takes that stick, deflects it out up into the screen. No problem. Off the draw, it's won by Giroux and played back to the point. Flyers with the extra skater on, teaming it. Tries to punch it in deep. Lifted out of the zone by Marek Zidlitsky. Collected here by Voracek. It's Zajac, the lone man in the offensive zone on the forecheck. Voracek crosses up. Played ahead to Giroux. Going for the takeaway was Bernier. Flyers able to gain the zone. Played across. Quick shot. Saved made by Brodeur. Off the stick of Scott Hartman. Le Cavalier quickly on the puck. Played across. Off the skate. Sent into the corner by Zajac and shipped out of the zone. And out of play. Nice read by Marty Brodeur on that rush by the Flyers. He had a man in the slot cutting across from his left to right, but he also had an eye on Hartnell. And you'll see the play here. Marty jams that short side post very quickly, and Scott has nothing to shoot at. As there's a timeout, but here you'll see it again. Voracek drawing people to him. Hartnell all alone on the side of the net. But Marty Brodeur just closes it down again. You know, just smooth into the save, makes it, pops back up. And as the Flyers try one last desperate attempt to try and get something out of this game. Pete doing the same thing on the other end. And I said many times, Steve, you're always talking about what happens if you don't win the draw. Because that's when the problem arises. If you win it, it's, it's pretty cut and dried. So the big defensive zone face-off here. Le Cavalier steps in for the Flyers. And it's Travis Ajak, as expected for New Jersey, with 1.25 to go. Teaming in and stride of the players at the point for Philadelphia. Off the draw. Muscled into the corner. Andy Green sends it the other way. Giroux dropped to the point. And Tiemannen tries to punch it in deep. Hit in the corner. Anton Valchenkov. Puck work free. Wayne Simmons is on it and plays it around. Work back to the point. Here's strike for the Flyers. They come off the wall with it. That's blocked away by Dinah Zubris. Whacking at it is Andy Green. Hartnell keeps the puck moving. Giroux able to collect with a minute to go in the third. Claude Giroux sends it towards goal. Blocked at by Volchenkov. Collected by Simmons. Saved by Brodeur at the side of the net. Caroms around. Strike will get there to keep it in the zone. Worked across. Giroux. Under pressure. Punched away from him. Gianta with the net empty. Can't find the handle, but he chases Tiemann and back in his own zone. Nice deal by Travis Zajac along the boards. Mark Strike with half a minute to go. Dumps in. Green is back, gets it away from the on-rushing Simmons. Giroux tied up, goes back towards the point. Strike got a hold of it. Flyers collect at the circle, centering try, loose in front of Brodeur, tries to get the glove over it. Instead, Green sends it the length of the ice with 10 seconds remaining. No ice in here. Andy Green, he shot it in front of the, the bench of Steve where all the snow lays. Taken away by Yager with the net empty, and it's in. Yaramir Yager's empty net goal. And the Devils lead 3-0. That should do it. And it will. Yeah, only 1.3 seconds left. You know, good for Yammer Yager. You know, he's worked hard every single game. Tonight again, I thought he made some real nice plays. Hasn't had a free one. But this one here, Lazaros, who had a disastrous, really, third period. Steve, he's the one who kicked in the goal by Cam Jansen after he lost his stick. And there he gets his head up, misses his pass. And for Marty Brodeur, well, I'm going to let you give the entire story of how many shutouts he's had. 49th win against the Flyers, and oh, they've seen this in Philadelphia, haven't they? A dozen times, Marty Brodeur now has shut out the Philadelphia Flyers in his career. And number 122, all time. Yes, yes, congratulations to Brodeur, as well as the team. Boy, just when they were seemingly at their lowest, they just... Mustered it all up tonight, and 
Yeah, as good again. Look at the smiles. I mean, that's what I miss as a player, Steve. You can just see the satisfaction and the smiles. And Cam Jansen, oh, is he going to be fun to talk to tonight? I'm sure Dev's going to hunt him down and get his take on the game and his goal. But before we get to that, let's turn to our turning point of the game. It's, it's brought to you by Lexus, continuing the pursuit of perfection. And here it is, the first goal, 0-0, both teams desperate for a goal. And there's the Lexus turning point of the game. Nice shot by Jelena. The tip by Henrique. one nothing Devils, and they just got stronger and stronger from there. We'll also get you an update on Eric Jelena. I don't remember him returning, Steve. That would be the only dour side of this game tonight, but we'll have all that and more when the postgame starts. Flyers have been shut out now in consecutive home games. Devils do their part, three nothing win. Off to Toronto next. We're live tomorrow night at 7.30. The Eshorance Devils postgame show coming up next from Philadelphia.